Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I have some happy mail here. And I received this on August 3rd. And I placed my order on just double checking here because I keep track of when I place my order and how long it takes to, to get to me. Because if anyone else is like me, you have a list of a whole bunch of orders coming in. So this is from Goulet Pens. I ordered this on July 23rd and I received it on August 3rd. So shipping from Virginia all the way to Alberta, Canada. Didn't take, you know, extremely long. All right, so let's go ahead and open this box. So in this corner here is the Tootsie Pop and I'm getting a little bit of a collection of these. I really should give them to my kids. And then taking this out. Yes, I know. And this I'm so excited for. And then there should be one more thing in here. And there. Oh, they all got stuck in there. And then the little card. So let's get this out of the way. So the order was packed with a slightly ridiculous amount of care by Armand. Thank you, Armand. It's not as if Armand's watching my videos, but anyway, thank you. And then it came. So this is the sticker that came free with the order. And then this was one that I placed an order for. It's the Twisby Eco in the, basically, I think it is the Smoke Rose Gold, which is uh, I feel like a bit of a spoiler now. So this is absolutely adorable and I can't wait to put these in my ink journal. So let's show you what I got. This first item here I have been looking at for ages, absolute ages. This is the Inky Rainbow six pen roll from Rickshaw and I had been looking at this for quite some time, seeing so many videos about putting my pens in here. And the main reason that I wanted to get it was because I wanted something that I could easily travel with in terms of my pens. While I do love this old school pen case for the pens that I have currently inked, it's not something that I think would be very practical for traveling. And this is just so gorgeous with, oh, it's so soft so soft. I'm actually going to try and put my pens in here and see like that was the Decimo, my All Star, my Diamond 580, Pelcon 140, Pro Gear Slim. We'll see how it fits with the Banu. Like they all fit in there really well and they're all so so protected and then you can just how does this work? I don't know how this works. Oh, and then just put the loop around there and it stays closed like that and your pens are so, so protected. And it goes from, you know, being able to protect my really small vintage Pelican 140 to the really big Bennu. And they're so easy to slip out of here and I know that they're going to be so well protected by the lovely soft plush that is in here. So I am actually really really happy with that. So that is the simple six pen roll in the inky rainbow. Oh I'm so glad I got this. So so glad. All right so yes I ordered another pen. Um I tend to do that. <laughs> I ordered this after trying the 1.5, no, 1.1 stub uh, on my Lamy All Star. And I wanted, I had been looking at this Twisby for a while, but I didn't want to buy one with an extra fine or a fine or even a medium, medium nib. But then I saw this also had a stub nib. So, yes, it is the Eco, and you can tell by the box. It is the rose gold, but which one? So let's remove the stickers. You know how some people, they they try one thing and they kind of get on a roll and just want to try everything in that thing. That's kind of me right now with the stub nibs. So let's put the labels there. And then this is your usual Twisby eco you get the box but then you also get the manual for how to disassemble the twisby eco and it also comes with the wrench and the silicone grease and then you've got how to refill and change the nib things like that and then da, 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 da. and then it does it says 
do not rub with alcohol. So let's get this out of the way. And I do keep all of my boxes, mostly because if I ever do plan on reselling my pens, this is what I would ship them in. So the Twisby Eco in the Smoke Rose Gold with a stub nib. Ooh, so excited for that. Yes, this is this is not the first Twisby Eco that I have. I've had the Twisby Eco T in the clear and that had an extra fine nib. It wasn't for me. Um, I've kind of gone away from the all clear demonstrators, but I loved this because I also have my Diamond 580 in the Smoke Rose Gold. And now I have both. If they do come out with a mini in the Smoke Rose Gold, I may have to purchase that one too. I might get that in a... We'll see how this stub nib writes and see if that's something that I would be interested in. But this one has... The, the difference between the two of them is that with the Diamond 580, it's got the facets around it. And the, you can tell the lids, the caps are different. The clips are different. The bands are different. The just the shape of the cap is also different. The eco is uh, hexagon. This is more round, and then even the shape of the piston down at the end here. It's round on the Diamond 580 and a hexagon on the eco. But there is also a difference in. Oh, don't roll away. There is a difference in the grip section as well, but there is also a difference in the nib. So I'll bring this closer. With the Diamond 580 on the right here, it does have a slightly bigger nib than the Twisby Eco. Um, you can tell that just even by the width of it as well as the length. So with the Twisby Eco, I believe it's the Twisby's number four nib, which is also on their Twisby Go, their Swipe, as well as the Diamond Mini. And then the number five nib is what is on the Diamond 580. And I do believe that their VAC 700 has a number six nib, so it's even bigger than the nib here on the Diamond 580. So you can see why I purchased this sticker because it's basically my pen on this sticker which I'm really really excited about. So yeah the difference really between the Diamond 580 and the Twisby uh, is difference in the nib size but also I mean the 580 is slightly larger. They have the diamond facets along the body but it is still the same piston filling mechanism and then in terms of the uncapped length between the two they are pretty much the same size. Now in terms of the grip I feel like the Diamond 580 is slightly heavier but then it does have ink in it. You know what? I, I actually can't tell too much of a difference with it and the the grip also feels the same in the Eco as well so I'm looking forward to, to be able to uh, ink that up and use that. Now there is a price difference between the 580 as well as the Eco and also for the Smoke Rose, uh, the Rose Gold versions are going to be also at a slightly higher price than the regular models, but I think I'm happy with the two that I have. So let's go ahead and ink that up. So I am inking this up today with Dye Mine Writer's Blood. This is the first time I'm actually using this ink. So like, look at how that looks in there. And I'm kind of afraid that it's gonna stain it now. Um, but hey ho. And let's make sure that I've wiped it all off because knowing me, I haven't. So this is, oh my God, it's so wet. Twisby Eco in the smoke rose gold it is so wet a 1.1 stub so so wet oh my gosh look at that and then with a line variation that's going down to the side So let's see how this writes.
This feels very, very wet, but very smooth. And maybe it's because writer's blood. Oh, I didn't even write that one. So this is diamine. Writer's blood. And oh gosh, it does look like writer's blood. Yeah, even in the sample, it is a gorgeous ink, but I don't know if it's just too wet or too big for my writing. My writing is normally very tiny, so this. This is my block writing, my printing, which is kind of showing up on the screen here. And normally my writing is about that size, like tiny. So this feels very big and very wet. So I'll actually show you, like that's the downstroke. Let me show you the downstroke with my Lamy Vista, compare the two. So this is the 1.1 stub on the Lamy Vista. And look at the difference. The Twisby Eco Stub is huge in comparison to the Lamy All-Star, sorry. So there is a huge difference. And I wonder if it could possibly be the ink. Writer's Blood could just be a very, very wet ink. So maybe I have to choose a different ink, maybe a drier ink to make this work for me. But, you know, overall, a lovely, Stub nib that might just be too big. And wet for my writing. But it might also be the ink as well. So that is the Twisby Eco in Smoke Rose Gold with a 1.1 stub nib. So I decided to try a different ink because that writer's blood was just so wet so it might be probably better off in a finer nib or a drier pen. So I decided to try a drier ink. I tried Robert Oster Chartreuse and actually it worked out so much better. It's at a width that I actually prefer and comparing it to the Lamy Vista and, or sorry, I keep saying Lamy Vista, but the Lamy um, All Star Stub Nib, it actually is more similar in size with that ink. So definitely ink dependent. I think I will try and use this with drier inks going forward. So there is my order from Goulet Pens. I'm really, really happy with the rickshaw, this uh, six pen roll. And I think I do have to get used to the stub nib. I love the stub nib, but I think maybe just the pen in combination just might be too wet. Oh, I hate even saying that. But uh, from what I'm used to with the Lamy stub nib, this will probably good for like be good for headers and things like that or maybe I just need to change it to a dry rink we'll see all right but that is it for me thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you like this video please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day